Well, we start today with a good set of numbers. Uh, Tata Consultancy Services, uh, the largest uh, Indian IT services player in the country, posted numbers on Friday post-market hours, and numbers have beaten uh, pretty much all expectations. They've beaten the upper end of the estimates put out by most brokerages. With us uh, today uh, is the top management at TCS to discuss those numbers. So my colleague Tuhina Pandey is also with me, so uh, we both will be quizzing the management up on your screens other uh, numbers that uh, TCS reported on a quarter and quarter basis. Uh, uh, with us is Mr. S. Mahalingam and uh, Mr. Ajay Mukherjee. Uh, good morning, gentlemen. Thanks, as always, for uh, taking out the time and joining us. Let me start with you, uh, Ma. How much of what you saw in the last quarter, in October to December period, uh, was sort of pent-up demand, uh, which uh, you know translated into revenues uh, for you, and how much was you know, new business opportunities that you were able to capitalize on? You know, uh, if you take the last three quarters, uh, from <clears throat> June quarter to September quarter to December, people were increasing their uh, uh, budget uh, in the sense that, uh, you know, they had a cost reduction program, they had slashed uh, extensively until then, and then started releasing some of the funds towards uh, things that they should essentially do. Mm -hmm. So I would still call it a pent-up demand that is still showing up. The discretionary one, where they are introducing new products and therefore they need new systems and uh, where they would like to move on to a different platform and so on, that is yet to come. Uh, so there was a huge sort of uh, you know cost squeeze which happened. Uh, so you got a little, you got that pop now with things improving. Yeah. But discretionary things of uh, things will only improve going into uh, probably the uh, you know second you quarter. Know, of the discretionary thing will depend on the real economy as to how it is doing. The indications are people are preparing for it, and therefore, uh, you know, we would start seeing them uh, from around the second uh, half of this calendar year. Mm -hmm. uh, but until then, we'll have to be cautious as to how it is going. But certainly, there is more release of funds towards critical things which they had stopped at a point. Six percent revenue growth on a quarter uh, quarter sort of basis. Uh, what I was getting to was, will you know, would you be able to add on top of that? going into the next couple of quarters because of discretionary demand also picking them up, or will that be sort of a yeah. uh, you know benchmark around which you would grow? You know, we grew 4% in June quarter. We grew 5% in uh, uh, September quarter. We've grown beyond 6% as right. far as this quarter is concerned. And I think, you know, that will uh, still be a growth as far as next quarter from a, but it may not be at this, uh, at this level uh, mm -hmm. at present, um, at this time. And, uh, but then as we get into this uh, discretionary uh, kind of thing, that is really going to be a very big increase. Okay, let me focus on the BFSI segment because that is the turnaround stories as many are talking about a revival story there. You know, a lot of it has come from m and If I understand 40% and above has come in from the m and that we are witnessing in the West. Do you see that sort of averaging out or do you see that a stronger upside is going to come into that space? You know, the restructuring programs are still going on there. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't think, although we saw two major restructuring that took place immediately in the February, you know, uh, I mean, post Lehman. And, uh, and therefore, uh, the m and work, uh, uh, work took off. Right. Uh, so there will still be more work to be done because of restructuring that takes place in mm -hmm. the financial services scenario. But more at, at the same time, what you would also see is that the increased pieces of regulation that are going to come in. Right. Uh, and uh, The Treasury Secretary has been talking about, you know, uh, breaking down the big banks. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is why even in the analyst call, uh, uh, Chandra remarks saying that we would have uh, these kind of demand continuing uh, in those areas. So I, I think uh, uh, as far as BFSI is concerned, so this quarter, the growth has been exactly in line with our overall growth. Mm. It has not been the outperformer in that uh, sense. Sure. There is still a fair amount of work that Ajay. can come. <laughs>